Hello everyone, it's me, your favorite niece, Jenna here. And since it's close to Thanksgiving, we're deciding to do a giveaway to one, and one of our loyal commenters will win it. We put all the names in this. And yeah, we want to give, a, give back to our top viewers, right? But I know some of you guys watch it, but you don't comment. In order for us to pick, we go we by the commenters, right? So we pick some of the see names. The viewers. Yeah, we don't know if you're, you know, some people are viewing, but they don't comment. Mm -hmm. So Jenna, go through the channel. She got some. Uh, Jenna, pick out some name here. She go through the channel and she pick out some names of the <laughs> top commenters. So for example, we have more names in here. The basket is full. The basket we is full of a lot of names, but just some example. Call some of the names out, Jenna. We have Lima Gill, Vake. So put them back in so they're part of the pool. Om Singh. Okay. Suzette Holt. Okay. And Miss Rose. All right, so now we're gonna shake the basket. Good luck to you guys, right? What is the price, Jenna? 100 US dollars. All right, so good luck and uh, all Yay! the best, right? Give it a shake. I know it's not much, but it's something, right? It's something, right? We're doing something for Thanksgiving. Give it a shake. Shake it, shake it, shake it. So I'm the judge here. Okay, uh, go in, uh, pick one, bring the basket up so we can see. Okay. All right, so good luck to, to the winner, right? Let's see who we got here. Let's see who Jennifer picked. Auntie Cindy Pancho from Trinidad. Whoa, Yay! congratulations. Yay! All right, so. so Rita will leave her information in the description box. Right, so Auntie Cindy Pancho, please but reach out. I think she's from Trinidad, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. So please reach out to Rita. She's going to leave her number in the uh, description. Um, you can reach us through WhatsApp. Her email will also be there, however you choose, right? And we'll get you your money. Yeah. You um, want to say a message to her? Um, I love you so much, um, Cindy Pancho. And I think you are a great person and I think you deserve to win this money. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Good job, so say auntie, we, because we don't know. She's just uh, going by the name and that's yeah, yeah. but it's okay. You can say auntie. That's okay. That's okay, Jenna. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's your local family with Rita and Krishna. I hope everyone is having a good day. Thank you in advance for watching, and we hope that you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with everyone. Hello everybody. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. So happy Saturday to you guys. Today we're going to be making some, uh, I got here some garlic party wings here. So, you know, I did my seasoning with garlic, onion, bell pepper. So I also got some turmeric, some olive oil. So this is a party wings, garlic style. Yeah, and the reason we didn't show because we normally do it in bulk and put it in the freezer. Yeah, so this is one set. So I'm going to put this a bake and stay tuned. I got some more stuff coming up. So stay with us and see what we're making uh, for uh, Saturday night vibes here in uh, New Jersey. So guys, I have some uh, filet tilapia here. I'm making some fish cake or fish ball, depends how you want to call it. I'm doing it my style. There are multiple ways. Of doing this right so I'm gonna season this fish lightly because I'm gonna be mixing it up with other ingredients when I'm ready to make the cake right I'm just gonna season it lightly let's to, see the size fry. of it you wanna see the size of it some decent size not too bad and I'm using fillet because I'm making the cake right so this is easier we don't have to remove the bone so I'm going in with a little bit of a uh, green seasoning here I also got some uh, grind garlic, not too much like I said, uh, I'm going to be um, mixing it up with other stuff when I'm making the, the cake or the ball. Give it some uh, nice pepper, Ethan and Jen and I are going to eat this one. Also going in with some um, black pepper, a little bit of uh, black pepper here. I'm going in with some uh, red chili powder here. And I also got some salt. Not too much salt, like I said. We're gonna do that in the other ingredients when we mix the cake up. All right, so 
Let me get this uh, seasoned up here and then we'll fry this and we'll come back and show you guys the rest of the ingredients. Massage, you got a massage. Get a massage, massage. Rita said massage. Speaking of massage, Rita, owe me a massage. Right? Got you, I got you. You got me after this? Of course. Okay. So let me see if this aisle ready here. I'm trying into the chopstick. Alright, you look like you bubble up a little bit. I don't want it too hot to pitch up too much. And I'm gonna go in and uh, fry my fish up now. Uh, that's the perfect temperature that I wanted. So we're not gonna fry this for too long. Let's do one at a time since the fish is very big and the uh, uh, frying pan or the wok is a little bit small. So let's do one. Like I said, we're not gonna fry it for too long, right? We're just gonna give it a little frying and then we're gonna mix it up with the other ingredients. I'm gonna get to that when I get when we get to that and then we'll have to refry it. Alright, so stay tuned. I got my potato in here, I'm gonna give it a little bit soft and let this uh, boil for, for a little bit once it gets soft. Then we'll uh, mash it up and uh, mix, mix it with the fish. So we got the last set of uh, fish finishing up here. And this is what it looks like. A lot of pitching. At first the tilapia was so big, I had to cut it in two because they were falling apart or breaking inside the karahi or frying pan. So this is how it came out, real nice. So yes, check it out. When I was frying it earlier, it was breaking in pieces. So what I did, I had to cut it in two because the tilapia was so huge. And we got it from Casco today, fresh, real nice. These are some I did, the first set, the potato. And I'm not gonna do all of it because tomorrow I plan to cook some nice bora. You see how it's falling apart because it's so thick. Get in here and see. See? Real thick and nice. Well, I think it's okay if it's breaking up because we're gonna make uh, cake anyway. We gotta break it, so. Yeah. Shouldn't be a problem. And I'm gonna save, guys, I'm gonna save these to make some nice fish choker. And Masani with me, a little. Fish choke and bore tomorrow. So I'm gonna go in with this right here. See? Real thick inside. Smell great. So what are you guys doing? I think it smells so good if we turn a hold me back meat out half the cutters. But we gotta make the uh fish cake anyway fish cake or fish bow don't come for me okay <laughs> and this is our style right there are yeah, multiple yeah. ways of uh, making it so this is our way of making it so guys and this is how i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna just take the fish like this right i'm gonna add some onion pepper uh a splash of lime a little bit lime man abacanese and a lot, a lot of pepper. And the sunny up with my hand. What do you say, Krishna? Yep, so that's looking good there. Let's yep. uh, go ahead and mash the potato or the aloo up. Yes. And then we're gonna combine them together and we'll do some uh, frying, right? Some people, I think, bake theirs, right? We're gonna fry our uh, fish cake. Yeah. And I'm helping out because Krishna. He forgot that we got a um a oven here. He went outside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> it's I a didn't joke. realize we got an oven here. I went outside to bake my chicken. Anyway, that's gonna finish in a few seconds. Because and I we, keep going back and forth to check it. <laughs> yeah, because we cooking most of the time outside, right? Yep. Yep. And we forget how everything goes. So. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna here. mix the. I'll lure potato. the potato in into the fish. Yes. I'm gonna waste nothing, right? Alright, you got everything out? Um, I got some here, yeah. So we're going in with the ingredients. Retail us here what we got there. We got some red chili powder, a little black pepper, not a lot, okay? 
paprika. Yeah, That's fish it. in itself is uh, very flavorful, so you don't want a, a lot of seasoning in it. Yeah, and some green onion. We got any shallot, right? Scallions, a little pinch of salt. That's it. I'm gonna let Krishna do the rest. Mix it up. Mix it all up. You look good, right? Looking real good. They look like you're ready for it already. I know. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna go in and mix it up and uh, wrong it up and get ready for frying. All right, so we're rounding the fish cake. Check it out. We're making it in shape. So we did a, what is it, six into eight. Oh man, we're getting a lot. Not counted, man, you want to give me belly walk, morning. <laughs> I don't think counting will give you belly walk. I think if I bury it, I'm not him. <laughs> my bad. Yes, I just put them in my hand like this and my farm one little thing here. Alright, so you can make whatever shape you like, right? You want a wrong long codger? This is my bikini shape. So my bikini shape, shape of my bikini? Okay. Mm, black bush pola. Okay. So that's uh, look like long codger, and I think you're wrong. But no, uh, I anyway, the shape it. shape doesn't matter, right? It's However taste. you like. It's the taste. It's the taste that matters. How much more we got? Almost done, uh, right? Two Maybe more, two, two more. more? Yeah. Okay. No, but no joke. Not because we're making it. I'm not going to tell like It smells real good. And we try it off camera. Just like that. Man, this thing you feed it just like that. Without uh, doing the extra frying step? Frying, yeah. All right, so let's uh, finish this up. We'll got, show you guys the next step, right? Once we uh, fry it and do the tasting. Yes. All right, so we get the oil warm up. Rita is gonna uh, put it in some egg. Butter it up. Butter it up, put it with some flour. Since it's uh, mostly fish, normally we don't do this, but since it's only fish and uh, just potato, we're just doing that to try to hold it together. Yeah. So we got one earlier, we got the second one going in there. Are we gonna put another one? I think we have space for one yeah, or two yeah. more, right? We do, we do. And uh, honestly, we don't like butter stuff. But hmm. I like to do it straight, but I think this one is a, a little necessary, it's required, right? Yeah, yes. it required this. Could more. All right, so let's get another one in, and then once it's done, we'll show you guys how it comes out. And it's a very simple recipe, right? Just get your fish, aloo, and some ingredients: onion, pepper, salt. And you mix it up or ginger it up, right? Wrong it up and put it to fry. Yes. All right, so. I'm gonna do five. I'm gonna do five. You got five in there? Yeah. Looking real good. I can't wait to taste this, right? So this set is done. Nice and uh, golden brown. Depends on your liking. You don't have to fry this too much, right? Because the aloo boil already or the potato, the fish fry already. Just to flavor it up. Yes. So, looking real good there. We're gonna taste that in a little bit. So we're gonna do the rest and show you guys how it comes out, right? Stay tuned. So yes, guys, take a look at our spread here. Three times given spread. This is some nice uh, big chicken here. Party wings, garlic style with garlic seasoning. And this is the fish cake here or the fish ball. Depends how you wanna call it, right? I got some nice mango sour to go along with this here. Here I have some nice baran hot sauce, all the way from St. Lucia. And uh, Rita hooked me up real nice here with a shot of Johnny Walker Blue. Thank you, Rita. You're welcome. All right, so let's go in and give this uh, chicken here. Don't be shy, okay? Yeah, look at this. Bake well good, bake all the way down to the bone. Look at this, see this? And give it some nice baran hot sauce. You can use any sauce that you want, right? And this is some nice party wing here. Tastes very good, very good. Very flavorful, not too much of a seasoning. I'm gonna come back and finish that. What's the occasion? Pre-Thanksgiving. 
Wow. Thanksgiving want, warm up. I don't want to see a Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, make sure you see it. All right, so let me go in with here with this uh, fish cake. Or this uh, thing here. Uh, fish cake or fish ball, depends how you call it, right? What do you want to call it? Look at this. Looking nice and uh, perfect here. Cook well good. And I got the mango sauce. You can give it hot sauce, pepper sauce, bar and hot sauce. Let me try it with some mango. Mango sour here. Rita, tell me. Mango sour and this thing will work good. All the time I eat it with pepper sauce. I'm going to try it for the first time. Mmm. Honest review. Rita, you were right. This and mango sour goes very good. Let me give it one more taste there. You know this what is heaven. <laughs> 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 All right. So, cheers, guys. Cheers. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy pre Thanksgiving, right? Uh, Make sure you join us uh, for Thanksgiving. We'll post another video and show you guys how we celebrate. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. All right. Bye. And we are out. Hello, guys. I'll be getting into this. Party wings? Party wings? That wing big like one leg leg, why? <laughs> how is it? 10 out of 10. 10, out of 10? <laughs> how, how is the flavor? 10 out of 10. <laughs> tastes like hot wings? Yeah. And tastes like garlic wings? Or party yeah. wings? Tastes like party wings. Party wings? Alright, so let's party. Get the, get the party going. Alright, enjoy. <laughs> Ethan is such a shy person. Go Ethan, <laughs> get in there boy. Enjoy, right?